Just about at Christmas, Ian, time everyone looks forward to. A working time for yourself yeah. and, and the players, although your dad as well, you've got to balance a bit of all sorts. Yeah, I mean, we'll be in working every day, really, apart from Christmas Day. I think Christmas is a time for children. They should be at home. Um, but other than that, yeah, we'll be working really hard. Um, real tough runner fixtures, mm. starting with Derby. And, yeah, I mean, the festive period is always for the movers and shakers, really. You, you tend to, if you can go on a good run, move, move positions really quickly and, and gain momentum. That's what we'll be looking to do. Yeah, a tough period, but an enticing one. Some really good games mm -hmm. going on from here and into January. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've put ourselves in a good position. Um, there's still more to come, I believe. Uh, but what I will say is we've given ourselves a solid start and a solid foundation to build from. Um, we need to do better in the team against, sorry, the games against the teams in and around us. There's no denying that. I think we've had some moral victories along the way, but what we've needed to do is, is win the moments more often and more consistently win the battle in both boxes these games are seldom used to creating lots of chances it's it's normally quite tight and we have to make sure that we're clinical at one end and, and really secure at the other so yeah looking forward to it I think it'll be a good a good start and a good game against a very good team mm -hmm. the last home game of the year and it's been a good year at this stadium hasn't it going back to January when you yeah. kicked off that revival that the record's been very good and you play good football here yeah well we try to um, I think it's going to be a huge crowd yeah. We've never played in front of a sellout here. I've heard lots of comments about what the atmosphere is like when it is a sellout here. So hopefully we can get as many in here as possible and create a really intimidating and intense atmosphere for, for Derby to come to. Um, we enjoy being here. Um, it's our house. It's our home. And yeah, we want to make sure that we come away with the three points. Yeah, it is going to be a great crowd. Not quite a Boxing Day, but it'll feel like Boxing Day. And uh, yeah, yeah it's a good, a big occasion, really. Isn't it, I think? it does. As I said, it's a huge four or five weeks. Really, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. But I think you know, seven games, you know, six against the teams in and around us immediately. So. Yeah, a challenging period, but one we're embracing and looking forward to. Mm. He'll have the blinkers on, of course, but Derby County, a club that's very mm. important in your career yeah. and in your life. Just tell us, briefly going back to where it all started from. Yeah, um, I mean, I was scouted for Derby at the age of 11, signed at the age of 11 and stayed till I was in my early 20s. Um, gave me a fantastic football education, um, learned so much. Made my debut under Jim Smith at, at 17 years old. Um, fantastic football man, fantastic character. Steve Round, who's now assistant to Arsenal, had me from 11 years old till my early 20s and, as I said, taught me so much. I have a huge amount of admiration for that place, um, a huge amount of admiration for that football club. Great football club and institution. And, yeah, I wish them well. Uh, I think they've got the right manager in charge now to to get them back on a, a sound and solid footing and, and get them promoted out of this division. Um, and I wish them every success apart from this, this game. Of course, a lot of similarities with the club you're at now, of course, because big clubs trying to find their way back and going back in the right direction. Yeah, exactly. Um, it just shows that we've, we've not been the only ones to suffer and really thankful that the club was saved first and foremost. And as I said, now they're back on a, a solid financial footing. Um, as I said, brilliant football club with a brilliant fan base and I wish them every success um, not to our detriment of course but in the future um, I think they're heading in the right direction again yeah, but it's business and, and you would be desperate to win of course because if, if you do that in, already in the top six nicely in the top five as you say just keep that progression going keep that momentum yeah I mean we know this is a key period um, Christmas is predominantly for the movers and shakers so to speak you can gain momentum over this period you play a lot of games fast and you can gain points and, and gain momentum as I said before um, not resting on our laurels very difficult challenges ahead but as I said one we're looking forward to one we're looking to embrace and hopefully show the best version of ourselves and lastly just on the personnel front we're still without the skipper Rico and Gethin yeah. as well probably but, but some encouraging news on, on that front yeah I mean Geth, Geth will be out for a couple couple of weeks he's He's progressing well, a um, bit of illness at the moment actually, but other than that, fine. Rico, we've had some real positive news. Um, he went to see the specialist on Tuesday, positive report, was given the green light to actively start to progress in his training levels and schedule. And he's almost going through a mini pre-season at the moment, which will last a couple of weeks. And we're looking to target you know, early January with him at the moment. He's been really receptive to everything we're throwing at him. There's been no adverse reaction, which is positive. And 
We'll take each day as it comes with him, but for now it's good. Good signs. Which will lift everybody in the squad. And uh, just quickly on that, looking at January, without going into too great details, plans to keep strengthening and building from the space that you've uh, put in Absolutely. As we've done with every transfer window, we want to exit it being stronger than what we entered. And I think that's going to be the case as well. We've had lots of positive conversations. We're really strategic with our thinking. The work behind the scenes from Chris and his team behind him has been first class. And we feel we're in a really good place. There's been good conversations taking place. And yeah, we're looking forward to it. But for now, we're fully focused on the 27th. I wish you well for that and wish you a happy Christmas. Christmas. Merry yeah, Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a safe and prosperous New Year. Uh, see you soon.